Listen to this. Really high number. B minor here. We're on our way to cut a big rock that seems to have a huge vein of ore that I got at an old silver mine. And I dug it up on a live stream. I have not had a chance to deal with it until today. Got a buddy with a big saw. Let's cut it open and see what's inside. Here's my pin pointer. It detects all metal, so it doesn't discriminate between good targets and bad targets, but it tells you the strength. Seems to be all through this bad boy. I'm not seeing anything in it yet. You'd hope to see a bit of vein or something. I came back for a crowbar because it is so big. And it ain't moving. Come on. Playing some mice and men on this live stream. I thought I'd have it out by now. There we go. Let me show you what we got. That's all vein down in here. It's pink, so it's got some cobalt. I see, I was gonna say, I saw silver there. I don't. But you see down in here? That's all some kind of vein. Come on, show me some shiny. There's a speck right there. Yeah, well, that is a beast. This rock is either gonna be absolutely amazing or a complete dud. I'm thinking amazing. Yeah, all right. Give her a cut Watch and hide. Ready? Let's see what we got. Oh, a lot of cobalt. A lot of cobalt. Which is the gray. Silver, silver down I see the silver here too. We'll clean it. Right. Okay, so there's the main vein. And silver is bleeding out. That's all silver. Silver up in here. That chunk right here is all silver or a mixed metal with silver. Yeah. And you see the bit of vein along the edge here. Somewhat disappointing but still a neat rock. Let's see what happens if we take one half of this rock, stick it in a bucket. Right now there's just water there, but I'll add muriatic acid and see what I can dissolve out. Five gallon bucket, a bit small for this rock, but we'll do one side. There's the acid starting to react. I am doing this outside because you don't want to breathe the fumes or get them in your house. It's a mild reaction, but it is diluted with the water. Let's take it out, see what one side looks like, maybe put it in backwards. There's some crystals down in there. A lot of cobalt, which kind of burns in the acid, it goes black. I'm not seeing seen a lot of silver yet. I'll flip it over the end that was dry, go back in the solution. The green that's bubbling away is either copper or nickelene. All right, so here we go. 
<laughs> Sometimes on failures, you learn even more than you do on successes. There's a bit of silver on this rock, like some right there. You can see the shininess of it. The real black, I'm pretty sure it's mostly cobalt. So this is a big cobalt vein. A little bit of silver up in here. This should probably be either kept just as a cobalt silver specimen or crush it and melt it. Well, we certainly have less rock now. We'll leave it in overnight and see what it looks like in the morning. Yes, it's still working a bit, but it's now almost 20 hours later. Let's take a look. Okay, so what do we got? There's a bunch of finds, small pieces, little nuggets. I can definitely see some silver in there. See anything that's shiny? That'll be a high grade silver, be some cobalt. I will pan this out later and melt it. So here's my pieces. You can see there's some quartz crystals. A lot of black. But some shiny. The shiny is high grade silver. The black is a mixed metal and mostly cobalt. Right there, definitely high grade silver showing through. Here's the cut side of the rock. This one, so I've seen silver up in here. It's kind of neat. Oh, I want to show you. This one, lots of quartz crystal on it, popping out. But, this piece here is stuck on, and that'll be from silver. Let me look at the side. There should be a little vein of silver there. Yeah, right there, that's silver. That's what was holding it together. And the last piece. So I'll keep these as specimens, the larger pieces. And I thank you so much for watching. It was fun. I'll do it again another time, real soon. Bye for now.